Well guys, it's a really sad day for me. My cobalt blue tarantula has died. And anything I can assume is that it was old age because she is about maybe eight, nine overall. Um, I found her, hold on, I'll take, wait a minute. I found her in her water bowl. The abdomen wasn't in the water bowl, so she didn't drown. And it also, it was only about quarter filled. But, oh, it just really sucks, guys. I've had this tarantula for years. Obviously, when I got it, it was about four and a half to five inches anyway. It, actually, no, it was even over that. It was five, five and a half. And um, I just measured it a minute ago. It was six and a half inches. So, fully grown. Like I said, I've had it years as an adult. So, I think that's the reason it died. But, you never know. So he wants to eat this. Let's feed him. Ugh. I was wondering what the smell was. It was this. You're just going to sit there and not eat it, Ozzy. Come on. It's dead already, mate. So yeah, that really sucks guys. Absolutely gutted. Yeah, so um I don't know, I'll probably try and find a replacement at some point. It'd be on the to-do list, but yeah, just a lot of my prized tarantulas have died recently, which really really sucks guys. Yeah. Oh, it's just falling apart. Oh, it just hit me. Just got splashed by that. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of my tarantulas have died, the prized ones. And um, the heat wave actually killed a few of them, I think. One of them was a freak mating accident. That was my 8-inch H. Gigas. So, yeah, it's just been a really, really bad year for me, for, for exotics, guys. I don't know how he's going to manage to eat that because it's just a pile of goo. But I was going to feed him today anyway, and actually I probably still will. I'll probably give him a chick or something in a second. But yeah, as I said before, guys, I don't see it as a waste feeding dead animals to my monitor because I mean they're not they're not mammals. I know you, we care about them a lot, um, but you know if you just if you were to bury them. It would just li literally dissolve. It'd be a waste anyway. And most people just throw them in the bin and and uh, yeah, just be done with it. But at least by feeding it to him, he gets a nice meal out of it, and it's not wasted. But yeah, there was a smell in the room, so I was wondering what it was. And uh, last time I checked this spider, it was okay. You know, it was, wasn't eating properly, but, so it was obviously ill. I thought it was coming up to a molt, personally, because the colours were drab. It, oh, it really stinks. You see what I mean? The legs are just falling apart. There's no give to them. I think the water's saturated it, so... You're gonna eat this part of. Oh, it really smells. Monitors will eat anything, they'll eat roadkill in the wild. I just don't care. I'm gonna eat it, what, mate? Come on. He's trying to scratch that off of his neck. Oh, really mank. Alright guys, so I think we're going to leave this bit here and uh, I'll show you a picture of her. I might show you the malt log as well.
just to find out how long I've had her. So I've had her a good few years, and she was already an adult, so she's definitely getting up there in age. Alright guys, two seconds, and I'll, I'll show you that, and um, I'll see you in the next video. This one I've had since 2011, and she was five inches when I got her, so already, you know, a good few years old, probably. Probably five years or so, and I've had her seven about seven years so yeah she's had a good long life just a shame really actually looking at it she didn't molt very much oh no wait a minute I think that's because I missed them see the problem is these are pet holes so you never see them whenever she molted there was definitely another molt on here that I didn't catch but yeah ah <sighs> kind of sucks guys but there you go what can you do you know everything's got to die at some point on a more positive note, guys, my salmon pink bird eater molted, and you know, she is huge. So she's about eight and three quarter inches. I measured her at this molt. So now she has got to be over over nine. I thought she was nine, but you know, eight and three quarters ain't far off. And uh, yeah, she had a big growth difference. So. What I'll do, guys, is I'll attach the video that I was going to post onto the end of this one and just make it a large video for you. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. So, guys, good news. I've been waiting for this for a while, and my biggest tarantula has shed. This is my Brazilian salmon pink bird eater. So She was nine inches, roughly, I said, and uh, a measurement of her molt has confirmed she is actually she's about eight and three quarter inches. So that's not fully stretched out as you can see so um, yeah she's very close to being nine inches I imagine now she is actually over that mark just by looking at the size difference of how much she's grown have a little look at the size of her now definitely grown quite a bit guys and uh, yeah so this girl is about six years old I think I had her from a sling there's actually videos of her on this channel when she was younger and uh, now she's this size yeah about five six years Oh yeah guys, and one final thing, my jumping spiders are doing really well, so I've bought some fruit flies now, I've dropped all those in, and if you can see, let me just try and get them in, one of these guys is eating a huge fruit fly, so they're looking nice and fat, they'll be ready to sell soon. Here's the tire at the top there, hold on, let's try and get this to zoom in. There we go. Look how fat some of these are, guys. Uh, where's the one that was eating a fruit fly? He's in here somewhere. <laughs> it's literally about double the size of the spider. Hold on. Where is it? Let me just... Have a look, see if I can find it. Well that one there... Zooming in through there. Well, he's got a fruit fly, this one here. Ah, oh, there it is. Look at the size of that. So, yeah, guys, this is doing really well, and they'll be ready to sell soon. So, 
I'll keep you guys updated. I'm probably going to just wait till they were shed once more. That's when I'll sell them. All right, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.